So here we go, boss is underway. And it's gonna run down the road here. And uh, let's see what happens. It should be testing the e-stop. There it goes, successful e-stop. They will now do some measurements to make sure that it uh, stopped in the required amount of time. It's got to obey the rules of the road. That's the big difference between this Urban Challenge and the Grand Challenge. You look in there, you see no driver. That's always kind of disconcerting and thrilling. Two chase vehicles. Right behind it is the vehicle that has the e-stop. So if any unsafe position should uh, circumstance should occur, they'll hit the e-stop and and boss will stop very quickly. But it should stop up here. Uh, all this, uh, all autonomous. So it's got the, the rear facing lasers to uh, make sure it doesn't back up in anything. Turning around. Okay, coming back down the straightaway. It's always nice when it's coming in this direction because you can see there's no driver very easily. I'd like to wave, but nobody's there. Now it's coming up to the stationary vehicle, which is on this side of the road. It's on the same side in the lane that Boss is in. And so it is going to have to stop and then assess if it's safe to pass. So here it is. It's determined there's an obstacle in the road. Waiting to see if there's any on oncoming traffic. Obviously, there's none. Uh, and now it's going to try to go into the other side of the road. So it's actually on the wrong side of the road, passing. And now it's going to come back in between. I don't know, that looked pretty good. All right, very nice. Uh, heart's in my throat a little bit here as it comes up to the turn. Sees that there is a stopped car. Let's see if it can figure out what to do. All right, it's turning its wheels. That's the first step. Now, now it actually turns around. And it's going to come back in. It has to avoid these cones. Picture perfect. From what I can tell, picture perfect. Very nice to see.